Welcome, everyone, to the Cup of Coffee podcast with me, your host, Tom Dillon. This is being recorded live at our weekly online meeting and broadcast around the world. Today's topic is um, gathering up everyone's best ideas so you can achieve more in 2024 with me, Tom Dillon. Um, the idea inspiration for today is it's the start of a year, and although, of course, you can do sort of goalsy, dreamsy, uh, pointing your boat in the right direction type stuff any time of year, this felt like an obvious time of year to to do one of those sessions. I was gonna I was gonna look back and see if we did one last year. Um, uh, shoot them, pick and choose which year you think we did this the best. Um, but uh, I haven't done, so we may have one out there. We may have five out there. We may not. Um, the uh, the uh, twist in the tale, the development I wanted to put into the, into this year was based on feedback from previous years, and that is that. Some people are coming to this with a blank piece of paper. If that's you, welcome. Um, we'll certainly be uh, taking care of you um, over the next X minutes. Um, but plenty, plenty of people who've been in property more than about three minutes, um, and certainly those who are here, say, uh, in January last year, will have been, um, uh, will probably may have done sessions like this before. And so we'll have already a sheet of goals or dreams or whatever else. And so the idea is to... Um, uh, yeah, is to make sure that those people get some value out of it as well. So to 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 revisit, to have a look again, to tweak what you've already got. Um, these sessions, I've, uh, I'm sh sure lots of you will have seen sessions like seen or heard sessions like this before. Uh, and so if you're um, a veteran, that's great because you can have a think about what you've already got and essentially, yeah, make sure that your boat's still heading in the direction that pleases you. Um, and it, but if you're new to this, happy days. Uh, I'm sort of jealous in a way because. You only get to ever do one of these goals or dreams and goals type sessions uh, first for the first time once. And um, I think for most people, it's it's really powerful um, stuff to put that into context. When we this is one of the uh, one of the first sessions for obvious reasons that we run with most of our mentoring clients, which is to check in with where they are and where they want to get to. And um, uh, and it's the one session that gets probably the most positive feedback from from said mentoring clients. Um, they people tend to really enjoy uh, enjoy it and um, and tell us that yeah that, that that bit of focus that bit of um, shining a light into where where they are and when they want to get to is is very powerful. In short, these sessions of um, choosing where you want to go really work. The analogy which I've stolen, all this is stolen. All the, I need to put a footnote on this, this entire session, um, as I think the most people doing these type of sessions. Um, is uh, uh, but one of the little examples that I really like was that uh, you wouldn't just set out in the morning, get in your car, not, you know, turn the sat nav on, but not really put anything in it, and then start driving. Um, because where are you going to go? Uh, of course, it's a bit random. <coughs> um, uh, instead, you you know you set a destination, and then and then the sat nav works out how best to get there. So these sessions are essentially plugging something into your, anything into your internal sat nav, so that you tell your brain. Um, where you want to get to, and then it can work out how to do that. Um, uh, so that's what these sessions are about. Uh, uh, an illustration of how powerful this stuff is, is I, I was reflecting that people sometimes ask me, can you tell when someone starts um, a mentoring program with your mentoring course, how successful each person's going to be? And the answer is no, not 100%. But the only the thing that gives me the best guide is, um, is how clear they are on... Um, on where they want to get to and their reason why they want to get there. If if those two things are really, really crystal clear, first of all, it really shines through in most people. Um, and second of all, it really motivates them and, and rubs off on the people around them. You know, people want to help people like that. Um, if you picture for yourself, you know, someone in your life who's like that, who's really obviously driven, who's really clear on what they want to do and why they want to get there, whether that's to help the family out or because they have certain goals in themselves that they really want to... Um, want to achieve then uh, those people yeah rub off on other people and uh, um, uh, and uh, um, are inspiring I think um so that's another if, if you need another motivation of why to why to bother spending your time doing this stuff that would be it you know that it doesn't take that long to do um it uh, it doesn't take that it takes even less time to then check in with periodically um and means that you are going to achieve the right thing. What's the old, I promise I'm nearly done with uh, my, all my sayings, um, but my, finally, it's like it doesn't matter how fast you're climbing the ladder if it's leaning up against the right wall. You know, this this exercise is, is a way of making sure as best you can that your ladder's pointing, leaning up against the right wall. Because that way, even if you plod up, um, just ploddy plod, well, at least at least you're going up the right wall rather than getting to the very top of your ladder and finding out, you you know, you've, you, you're, not on, you're not on the right wall. 
Okay, so um, if you've got notes or ideas in your head or whatever else you've done one of these sessions or lots of these sessions before, then get those notes ready or up on your laptop, whatever it might be. For those listening to the podcast, we'll try and put some useful um, little uh, timings in for those who just want to go and sort of do the bits, do the do the little sessions that we'll we'll do throughout this. Uh, and obviously, for those um, live or who want to, you can just uh, just listen in a linear fashion. Um, all right, so I'm going to do these little bits sort of quickly on purpose. Um, uh, I'll, so yeah. If you're live, then feel free to go back and flesh them out. And if you're on the podcast, feel free to pause if you want to spend a little bit more time on on each of the little bits. So um, if you've got a um, – so so this is where it cuts kind of over to you guys. I'll also be checking in with some of the people live to see what they've been uh, – what they've usefully used over the over the years, try and get some other ideas in on the, uh, on the sessions as well. So um, for this first uh, little mini session is I want you to – um, it's, it's, this is a way of getting everything in your head out onto a piece of paper if you've never done this before and that is just think of anything you've ever wanted so um, and and start writing uh, and don't worry no one else is going to read this so you can just let your pen or your mind wander and think about um, all the different things so let's start that now um, I should do a clap for the sound on the uh, podcast but I won't <coughs> well look I'll do a cough uh, so we've start with a cough so uh, this is where you you guys should all be uh, writing away um, live and uh, and recorded live and recorded recorded live whatever and um, uh, so you, you know feel free to ignore my voice um, or listen to it depending which works for you so just start to write down things that, things that you want um, my top tip with this is to don't undersell yourself don't think small dreams are free so you may as well you may as well go big um, given that small ones and big ones are both free so if you want if you want a ferrari write down that you want a ferrari not that you want i don't know porsche um not that there's anything wrong with the porsche of course but you know go go for the thing you really really want um and uh and then if you think well i, I don't know what i want um then start to think about some different areas start to ask yourself some questions so for example who would you like to spend some time with where would you like to be all these kind of w questions um how would you like to have traveled there um what would you like to see uh you know who maybe you know who would you like to meet um also, what kind of feelings would you like to have? So what scenarios would you like to be in? So, for example, for me, I just had a, an excellent Christmas, so a new year. I hope everybody else did as well. And those things really mattered to me, being able to be where I want to be and with the people I want to be with. So think about that. Um, if if you're someone who's done this before, so you maybe you have this kind of list already, and so you know, feel free to tinker with it. But maybe have a think about, if you're looking at, at, at a list, is how would you like things to be different? You know, how... Um, you've got this list of things, um, you, you know, uh, of, of things that you want, but how's that working out for you? How, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add to that list? Or is there any uh, anything that you need to not only add and take from the list, but is there any, anything that you'd like to change about the direction of travel? And how about how are you going to go, and go about doing that if you've, if you've done this sort of thing before? I'm going to give people just a few seconds to finish that off. And when I first did this, it probably took to, to give this you know, proper time, as it were. Uh, you probably it depends on you, depends what how big your imagination is. But it might take. I think it took me ten or fifteen minutes to get all mine down on paper. So um, you know, don't expect they should have finished just in this short session. But that's uh, you, you know, it can take quite a bit longer, and that's fine. That's just a, a case of getting it all out there onto the page. Um and and letting it all flow. Don't try not to get anything let let anything get in the way between you and the pen or or you your typing. And apologies if uh, you can hear me drinking coffee in the background. That's because I'm drinking coffee. Um, partly because I I always think better when I'm drinking coffee, but partly because uh I'm just recovering from some flu. So I'm staying hydrated. Does coffee keep you hydrated? Okay, so um. So that rounds that out, uh, and as I say, pause that if you need to, and go back. I'll try and stop saying that. You just uh, you can pause at your leisure. Um, if you're live, you'll just have to <laughs> um, do your best in the time we've got. Okay. Um, 
Who shall I pick on? I feel like picking on someone who's in the live session, seeing what they got out of that. Elaine was scribbling hard, or seemed to be. Um, were you scribbling hard, Elaine, or were you doing the crossword? Are you stuck on nine down, or did you have a, a brilliant session writing down things you were um, uh, keen to achieve? I hope no one listens to your podcast, Tom, because I seem to be on them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're the only smiley face. Everyone else scared me. <laughs> Everyone else is smiling. Um, yeah, I got some some stuff down. Um, it's basically to have more time to do what I want to do. Because uh, right now I have a full-time job um, and I find that I don't have time or money to do things that I want to do, like getting a private pilot's license for a plane or a helicopter or having you know rich people hobbies like uh, maybe I want to start drifting cars you know yeah <laughs> do cool things like that I don't have any money or time to do that I, even going snowboarding I used to snowboard a lot um we do have a place in Trafford Centre but it's so expensive like yeah. a lift pass is about 50 pounds um uh I want to have time and money to do things that I want to do basically is pretty much everything that I've written down it's to like like traveling I think I think a summary of a lot of what people, most people would write down would be what you wrote down, which is more time. Like people want to free up their time, right? And then um, a time freedom is is one thing a lot of people want. And then two is yeah. uh, uh, is rich people hobbies, which I've never heard it summarized like that before. But that's uh, you know that's a, a great summary of what a lot of people are after. And and why not? Like golf can be a lot of fun or whatever. You know, is it? Excuse me, is it rich people hobby in here? Okay, well, that's uh, that's excellent stuff. And I promise I'll pick on somebody else. Everyone else doesn't pay attention now. Because for the next session, uh, next se section of the session, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, for those who are uh, 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 what I call stream one, so people who have not done this before, the idea now is to, um, is to, uh, is to simply have a, have a look at that list and get a highlighter and choose the uh, top three. So time starts now. Choose the top three that you've got on your list um and that you maybe you want to focus on because there's that old saying i'm full of sayings aren't i which is uh you, you can achieve anything but you can't achieve everything which i think is true so the idea now is to is to take this massive thought bubble cloud of, of things that you maybe that you're interested in and so you start to distill it down a little bit into those which you're going to focus on <laughs> uh goal number one for me try to get rid of the flu um which is actually going better than it sounds, I'll be honest, uh, from what it was a few days ago. So uh, so, um, so you should you have a big thought bubble of things, and the idea now is to pick out the most important three which you want to spend, uh, uh, spend your time focused on. Um, for those who are in the, who've already done this before, maybe want a bit more, um, uh, have already got a list like this, maybe you have started to think about how are things going to be different? So, you've got goals dreams you've got you know actions and things like that they're the things we're working on but you've already got some of those or all of those so um uh are things fine carrying on the same if you had if you had another year if this year was another year like last year are you okay with that does that does that work for you um if not why not you know what are the what are the things that the details or all, all the big thrusty things that um which need to change to to get you where you want to go I think sometimes, so sometimes that can be, yeah, it can just be one or two small things like, yes, generally we achieve what I wanted to achieve, but I wanted to achieve more of it, or um, I wanted to achieve more in different areas. So maybe I focused well on my work things, but I didn't, you know, my personal life wasn't where I wanted it to be. Um, and then sometimes it can be, well, that was all a complete mess. Uh, it all went wrong. Um, why did it go wrong? What, what was it about my goals or lack of them, which didn't, which didn't get to serve me. So back to the, back, back to the folks um, uh, who were, turning uh, who are looking at their the top three um once you've uh once you've got your highlighter out and you've you've chosen your top three the next thing to do is to um is and we'll do this as part of the same session i think is to then turn those what, what dreams into goals now it depends how you've written them some people will have written them in, in goal form already and your obvious question is yeah that's good that's on but what on earth are you talking about how do you turn what's the difference between a, a dream and a goal and how do you turn one into the other? Well, there's lots of different definitions, but mine is, um, which again, all stolen, is that uh, the difference between a goal and a dream is a deadline. So um, uh, so you want to get those, uh, your dreams, and then put a, dead, a deadline on them. And that will be, of course, appropriate. Uh, be a, be ambitious, but but it will it will depend on the size of the, the dream. So, for example, if your dream is to own... Um, 
a palace, then that might be a 10 or 20 year goal for you. Um, or if it's to do like your, your final project that you're, you're, you want to do, develop a hundred apartments and then retire. Um, okay. Well then that's maybe a 20 year goal, depending how old you are. Um, uh, but then also your goal might be, you know, eat fewer biscuits. Um, uh, and then that's, that could be a, an immediate or a one week goal or whatever. And, 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 and all the fine, if, if so long as the only thing I'd say is just to check back in and make sure that the three things you've picked, are the three most important things in your life. And by the way, none of this has to be property related. Um, if the three most important things in your life are not property related, well, then that doesn't matter, does it? What matters is that you achieve the three most important things in your life. Uh, and three is a good number. Uh, it can be one, it can be five, but I find three is a really good number for most people um, because that, the rest of it kind of falls into place. If you, my, my experience is if you achieve the top three things, um, then, then the rest of it falls, you know, falls into place behind usually. So, um, so, so once you've got those, once you've got your three things, it may be, for example, one of them might be, yeah, to, to do a hundred unit development. Um, the next stage, which we'll run straight into is to think about how to get all those goals into six month goals or, or less. <clears throat> so if, if, for example, it's a hundred department development, we'll think, well, what, what would I do in the first six months to, to get me on track for that? So maybe I've got, there's a project on to do two apartments and in order to get me on, on track to do that, you know, that, that might be the, to finish that two apartment development might be, um, uh, might, might be the, the right thing to get you on track. It may be, again, if you listen to the podcast, feel free to pause. Um, and it maybe you need to go back and because uh, that, that can take a bit of time. If you've got a large goal, you need to break down. If you're trying to break down a 20-year goal into a six-month goal, that could take a little bit of time to work it out. Um, but I think it's surprising. Like It can almost seem too big a job, that. But I think it's, a, it's surprising how um, actually would you sit down for five minutes and work out, well, look, if I want to achieve this big thing, then the thing I need to achieve in the next six months is this, um, then that actually doesn't take that long and isn't that isn't as challenging as maybe it feels because like anything, when you start to break it down, it's, um, it, it becomes manageable fairly quickly. Um, so, so the idea is at the end of this little session uh, or section, I should say, is that you've now got, we've gone from having a blank piece of paper I'll, I'll talk to the people who are new, as it were. Um, if you if you started this fresh, then you should have, got, should have gone from a blank piece of paper to having now three, uh, a bunch of dreams, which you've then decided which your your top three most important ones are, uh, and then you've um, uh, 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 broken those down so that you now know what you need to do over the next six months to achieve those those three goals. Not not line by line, but you know broad brush. Um, so. Uh, um, so that that in a fairly short amount of time is, you know, if you if you've achieved that is is good progress and will will really help you to um uh, to 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 move towards the goal. You can't move towards a goal you don't have. Um, uh, uh, Graham. Um, okay, <clears throat> thanks, Tom. Um, quite challenging. Um, some of these. I, I mean, I, I've I've really just made notes of these in the past couple of minutes as you've been talking through it. I've probably had them in, in my head. Good. Um what uh what some of my goals, dreams uh are. Um the I mean what one I'm gonna to learn to play golf and I've set myself a challenge of, of do that within the next two months. That's obviously weather dependent. <laughs> I, I looked at this last year. I know it sounds really something really simple but um i didn't do it last year and that was because i didn't have time yeah um I've, I've now got some time and i've freed some time up from last year because of right. things that i've done um so that's that kind of number one so I said, hopefully within the next two months i'll be i'll be on, on track um i want to um work towards getting my wife after work so mm. um i in terms of how to do that um time scale I've given 12 months um and I've got, I've got two potential commercial commercial conversions um on the go and I, and I want to focus on one of them getting one of them across the line and um, that's how how I'll get there in terms of um you know getting my wife out to work um the last thing is I've always wanted to go to Australia um, or New sure. Zealand but I've only picked one sure. so I'm going to say Australia I've given myself to next month to ne next eight months to do that, and I, I think some of that's going to probably going to be because of the, the the seasons within within Australia are much different to um to the UK. So I, I mean within the next eight months, 
it's, it's still not with the right at the time climate wise to go to Australia, but you know, I've got to I've set myself a, a goal to do that. Um uh and it is a it is a dream as well. So that's that's really my three. Great, superb. What I really like about those is the variety and the fact that you, you can tell, you know, that for those listening, I'm you know, you don't need to know Graham to realise how sort of um how keen he's on those things right it really it really shines through you know graham's um a bit like me you know he, he, he's not gonna he's not about to sing and dance and put a colorful hat on at least i don't think so no um but it, but it really comes through how, how passionate he is about those things um and it's amazing when you speak to people like people don't lie to you they'll tell you what they want to do when you ask them and um and most people have you know know this stuff they know what it is just haven't got they haven't got around to it yet right so uh so you know um it, it's uh um it's really good stuff really uh yeah re yeah really um what's the word life affirming stuff when people i think you know first of all set these goals and then ultimately the the, the exciting parts achieving them right um yeah uh, i've been lucky enough to go to australia and new zealand both amazing countries i'd strongly recommend new zealand of, of the two but uh but either's either's going to be a good time so uh so yeah i hope you have a hope, hope you have a good time um well i'll come i'll come on to it now because i'll forget to do it later i wonder if i can get it off the wall easily uh, I always find that uh, visual things work really well in podcasts. Give me a sec. No, I, 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 I've accidentally drilled it to the wall. Um, but I have a I have a vision board, so I'm not a very um um. Which is what I was going to try and show, but uh, for the sake of the people watching in black and white, the pink's the ball behind the behind the green. Um, so the um. Yeah, it depends on you, but in terms of so um Graham's talking about those things there, right? And right now those are very fresh in Graham's mind. And I'm sure people listening, you know, you've got them very fresh in your mind what your goals, goals and dreams are gonna be. But um but it's amazing how those things can fade. So uh in order to keep them fresh, in my mind, I I, I got a bunch of photos, just went online and, and what, with my list, with my things I with my goals, with my things I really wanted to achieve. I um I got a bunch of photos and put them up on wall on this dream board, and then when I achieved them, so for example, one of mine was to uh, was to um, do a Rubik's cube, which I can now do. So I uh, once it was done, I could then take it off the board and put another picture on the board. So it's a constantly rotating thing. But it means the first thing in the morning, last thing at night, sits above my headboard, and uh, uh, and and reminds me all the time of the things I want to achieve. And that's that I find has been surprisingly powerful over the years. A little drip, little drip, drip free, but it's, it's really worked. So um so. Not that's not for everyone. The whole point of this is you've got to individualize it for you. But what's going to work for you to get you on the golf course, to get you to Australia, to get you, you know, to help you, to your wife get out of work or whatever. When you first said that, what about getting your wife? I thought what you said was help to get my wife to work. I thought Uber might be the answer for this, but um, <laughs> like, like I, th I then caught on to the you know much bigger idea of um, you know again it comes down to well to helping other people, but then time freedom too. So, so that was great. All right, let's get on with um with the next session. So. Um, some of you may have already done this sort of naturally with the previous one, but uh, I won't assume that you have. So with those three goals that you've now got, um, uh, there's, there's two ways I think you can make them more actionable, which will sort of roll into one. <laughs> one is to put, um, one is to try and, which we did in the last session, but it's we did in the last session a little bit, but it's worth noting uh, and, and and it's absolutely fine. Graham's were a different length of time, but is then, then um, breaking those down into, into almost like daily or weekly actionable goals because it's all very well having 20 years or even six months, which is what we got down to last time. But we need to break that down further. Before we do, the, the first thing I wanted to do is put sort of a pounds and pence value on, on those goals that you have. So for some of those goals, it may be that they cost nothing, that they may cost some time uh, and you may want to jot that down. So if you, I don't know, you want to learn the violin, you may already own a violin, so it's not going to cost anything in that. It may cost you some lessons, but you may be able to do it all on YouTube. So, you know, but it may be just all it costs is an hour a week. But time is time is money, as they say. So, it, it, you know, it, whatever it's going to cost you, whatever the price is, pretty much everything good has a price. Um, is, you know, jot that down, whether it's time, money, or a bit of both um, for all three of those. And again, if you're not sure, it doesn't matter that you get it down to the last... Last fifty p. What matters is that you've got a rough idea of what it's going to cost. So, um, so of course, you know, looking at Graham's trip to Australia, there, that's, that's not free. So that's going to it's going to cost him some money, right? So you can then say, right, well, if um, and I I I'd state it in terms of a six month goal, even if in fact it's over eight months. But you've got, in six months, I want to achieve this, and it's going to cost this, right? So uh, it's going to cost five grand or ten grand, whatever it might be. Um, and then you can break that down. So, but anyway, for, for now, you go six month goal, and the cost is going to be ten grand. Okay, fine. And then uh, and then you do that for the three goals. 
that gives you a total amount of money that you're going to need in six months' time, um, over and above maybe what you already have, unless you're including it in current sort of income or whatever. Um, but anyway, going to give you, give you a cost of what it's going to cost you over six months to achieve the three the, your three goals. I'm going to restate that as the three most important things in your life. Um, because if it's not the three most important things in your life, then go back and try stage one again, because you'll remember that we picked out, the, you know, I'll give you a blank piece of paper. So this is everything you want can be on that list. It, it, it's completely up to you, completely free choice. And then out of that, I ask you to pick the top three. So worth noting that well, the things you should have on this list, of the, your top three list, should be the three most important things in your life. So when you stay like that, I think it makes it a little bit more powerful. But then you think, okay, well, so now you've got a figure and that might be two grand. It might be 20 grand. It might be whatever for the six months. And then you think to yourself, right, well, can I afford that with what I've got already? If yes, then happy days. You know, you've already achieved the financial side of it. You don't need to worry about that. You just need to go away and do the work or do whatever it is that you need to do. Uh, practice your golf swing or whatever it might be for you. Um, uh, but if there's if there's money, if, you, if you're like, well, that costs 20 grand and, you know, I currently have one grand, right? So, well, then you need to w work out. How are you going to get the 19 grand? How are you going to, you know, how are you going to close that gap? What, what is it you're going to do? And that's, of course, where property can come in. There are different ways of doing it. Maybe you, you decide to go away and do stocks and shares. You don't have to do property investment. Um, the reason I mentioned property is, of course, this is a property investment podcast. But, um, but you you know, you can do this. You can go about doing this any way you like. Uh, but if, if there's a financial element there, then you need to decide if, if the financial element is that how you're going to achieve that, how you're going to make the money to, to make these things a reality. If you get to it and you, the other kind of nice thing that this shines a light on is if you've got there and you think um, uh, you've worked out that it's going to cost you a hundred grand and you, you know, in the next six months and realistically, well, that just isn't realistic for you. Well, then you can, you can have a look at the goals and say, right, well, maybe I don't go into outer space. We'll need to wait till next year. Um, and instead we'll, I don't know, go to Swindon uh, or, or, or whatever it might be. Don't go to Swindon or you can't go to Swindon. Swindon's fine. Why am I? I don't know. I've not really been to Swindon. Swindon might be great. Uh, so um, uh, either way, so at the end of this, it kind of again, you, you're chiseling your own your own block of granite here, right? To 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 to, to, to chisel out your own life, so that now you can say, right, after a bit of working, you've got to three things um, that are maybe challenging but achievable over the next six months, and and I have a pounds and pence value over um, for what those what those look like. Your next job, which I'll put within the same session, you could break this up into two, but I think it's fine to then break the, to, to have it in this, have it in the same session. Is okay? Is I want to break? I want you to then break those things down because thirty or six weeks, uh, six weeks, six months isn't very long, right? It's about third, twenty-six weeks. Yes, twenty-six weeks. So I then want you to break those down into weekly actions. So what's one twenty-sixth of what you need to do? So if you're gonna, um, in Graham's case, maybe you learn some golf, then um, and that's going to take a couple of months. Okay, well that's you know, and if I was you, Graham, I'd give yourself a bit more time. <laughs> but it, golf's not easy. But anyway, whatever it is, whatever it is for you, maybe um, break that that goal down into into what you, what you're going to do this week, what you're going to do today. <laughs> so daily, weekly habits, actions, but then those of course become habits um, that makes things almost um, it's almost then becomes an inevitability. You change this thing from a an ethereal dream of oh one day one day I'd love to do this thing into this if I carry on doing these things that I've set out this will definitely happen and it will definitely happen because um, because I, I almost give it no choice but to happen by by virtue of doing the thing that I've said I'll do. So for example if you say you want to cycle 100 miles well then if you follow a, um, a three or six month training plan towards that, that goal and you stick to it unless you're very unlucky and get some sort of injury, then chances are on, you know, on, on the ride there, you'll be able to do it because, because you'll, you've put in the work. Same with, um, um, same with golf swing, same with, um, same with property. So if you set up a funnel and say, right, well, I'm going to look at X properties on right move and then put in, you know, um, so many offers and then get that prompt that long certainly mean I get this many offers accepted and then I'm able to purchase this many properties. Um, you know, again, you can set up that funnel to, uh, to sort of drive you towards those goals which is a lot more powerful than just, you know, getting up, uh, setting out of your house in the morning, starting driving around in circles, you know, it gives you a real, uh, uh, that, that really then fuels the, um, your engine to achieve what you want to achieve. Um, if you've maybe already done this kind of work before uh, uh, and, you know, you, you've already got a really good idea um, on that sort of stuff, the kind of the cherry on the cake, the, the, the extra for you would be to have a look at, what's worked and what's not worked and then have a think about why. So I find that typically some of this stuff works really well for people and some doesn't. So I'll give you an example for my life is I'm very good at this bit. 
For, for me, I'm very good at the bit we're talking about now. I'm less good at the checking in. So I'm less good at next week and the week after and the week after checking in where I'm up to with what I said I was going to do and and then sort of trimming my sails appropriately to say, oh, well, I missed this session. I need to make this up. Or um, I said I was going to do this, but I didn't. So why not? You know, I'm less good at that. And I think probably a lot of people are. Um, so it's checking with how are you going to, you know, make sure you check in first thing on a Monday or whatever whatever works for you, last thing on a Sunday for the week ahead. Um, how are you going to yeah check in with yourself? And the other one is to make sure that you're not you're not kidding yourself. This is again more for the people who've done this before, more for the advanced folks, if you like. Is have a think about um, uh, one thing that I really like to do is occasionally check in on the UN Sustainable Development Goals as as, as things that are bigger than ourselves. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll try and put a link in with the podcast, but you can just Google it um, if you haven't seen those before. I, whether or not you manage to achieve, you know. Um, education for women or clean water around the world um, is almost almost irrelevant. What, what's really relevant is those things give you a, a sense of yeah of, of something that's something that's bigger than you that you can really um, um, work towards and try and achieve. That so I find lots of people will find motivating motivating, including me, um, as a way of uh, as a way of doing that. Um, Avind has been on a stroll throughout this, so I'm going to check in with him um, because uh, I'll be interested to get his point of view on um, what he's taken from the session so far, if anything. How's the walk going, Avind? Morning, morning, John. Happy New Year. Going really well, really well. I don't know if the reception's very good there. Um, one thing I've learned is I need a pen. I definitely need to write <laughs> these goals down. That's one thing I've taken. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, I um, yeah, just been sort of thinking, really. Mm. I was walking, just sort of thinking through things like goals and, you know, objectives. And obviously, a bit more on the kind of detail in terms of what I need to do uh, more specifically to get there. Um, the small little steps I need to take. And, um, you know, just to be even more specific. <laughs> Sorry, I've got something stuck in my throat as I'm speaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not laryngitis, by the way. It's... Uh, yeah, it's just uh, constantly my bottom of the okay now. So, yeah, um, I mean, I, generally I'll just sort of, in terms of one of my goals, I'm just sort of thinking health, just putting health at the, the forefront. Mm. Um, that's something I think a lot of people tend to neglect because I think everything comes hand in hand. If the health is not on par, then everything else sort of, uh, falls apart. So health's very important. I think uh, a part of that, um, just sort of looking a bit more on the specifics was, uh, you know, to get myself to the gym, get myself up early, yeah. do my walks, which I'm fairly doing at the moment as we speak. Yeah. Um, you know, getting, being more specific, getting the steps in, you know, if it's 10, 15,000 a day, making sure I've got them, get them out of the way in the morning. Um, then look to reevaluate. Um, I had a, an injury a few years ago, um, my knee and then yeah, so just trying to strengthen the muscles around there. So going to the gym is just knowing the types of exercises to do, but speak to the right people, um, the right physiotherapists just to get me up and running. Um that's one of that's certainly one of my top goals and yeah, just, just writing things down, being a bit more specific. Um and yeah, there's 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 so many more things. Um what would you like to know? No, that's uh, that that's that's spot on. Thank you, Avinda. Um, yeah, for those just to, um, Avinda was just in case anyone couldn't catch it because the the line wasn't spot on. Avinda's out and about. He was just talking about the importance of first of all writing things down, which is difficult when you're out and about. But uh, but of course, I'm sure Avinda will have a go at that when he gets in. But also, uh, and he's right. You know, the specificity is like it, it, having some having something in your head and then getting it out on paper is such a massive difference. Because when I first did one of these sessions. I, I was at uh, an event or something this is years ago, and um, and they were like, right, we're going to start writing stuff down. And I was like, yeah, I pretty much got all this in my head. I don't think I need to. Um, but the power of actually getting it out on paper um, or or a word document, whatever works for you, was massive. Um, not least because you could start to tick stuff off, as in go, well, that I thought that was important, but now I've written it down. I'm not sure it is, you know. And it really helped to see things, a visual sort of stimulus on it. So I, I, I would uh, advise those listening to actually get some stuff down on paper. It makes it doesn't sound like a massive difference, but it is. And the other thing I've been 
was talking about there was the importance of health goals. And I'd say there's there's very few more. I'm sitting here recovering from flu. There's very few uh, more important things than health, right? You know that whole health is wealth thing. I love that old saying. If if you, if you doubt how important health is, try not having it. Um, uh, you know, it's uh, you can't do much without it. So, uh, so yeah, having a health goal, getting down the gym, you know, being active, whatever it might be for you, um, it makes a massive can make a massive difference. Both both to your your, your your overall health, but also to your productivity. You know, we all know the difference between going for a swim in the morning and getting out and have a bit of chocolate cake and, and what those two different different days look like. So, so I'd um I'd back up what Arvin was saying there. Um, finally, I would, um, as a kind of a, a cherry on the cake, a, a bonus just to finish us off, would be, um, uh, first of all, to thank everyone for joining in with the session um, uh, and to, you know, to wish you well for the next six months and for 2024. <laughs> but also um, to 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 realise that there's a, a great book, there's lots of great books, but this one particular one that I think is relevant is called Why Willpower Doesn't Work by Benjamin Hardy, um, which is on lots of things, but on the importance of environment and how, as the book, as the book title suggests, why willpower doesn't work. So if you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm motivated, I've, I've had a great session, I've got loads of things to do, I'm going to go and I'm going to try really hard to do this, I'm going to, I'm going to will myself to success, I'd say, no, you're not. Um, there's probably about one person in 100 who can realistically do that, and you're almost certainly not, not that person. What you can do is set up environments such that, you know, success becomes almost inevitable, um, and which sounds all a bit wishy-washy, but it's, it, it's it, in my opinion, really works. One of the, one of the main things I've, I've learned in the last few years that works and is important for me, and that's, um, it, it's really simple stuff. It's stuff like, there's a, the old Buddhist saying about not working in the room that you sleep in, this kind of stuff. Um, for me, funnily enough, that's not an important one. I'm happy to work in the in the room where I sleep, and frequently do. But um, um, but for example, I know that I work well between ten and two. Um, I can work at other times, but that's the times I need to work on the on the big jobs. Um, I also know that I work well in ninety minute blocks. After ninety minutes, my brain wanders, and I'm better off taking a break. Usually for me, about half an hour break, and then coming back to it. So by understanding yourself and how you work well, and how more importantly you don't work well, and when you get distracted. Um, you can really turbocharge what you're doing. I can do more in three or four hours now than most, I don't mean this as a brag, but just let, let me put it like this. I can do more in three or four hours now than I used to be able to do in in 10. Um, and that's not because I'm suddenly better than I was, but simply because I understand myself better of, of, of and I understand um, how to make environments work for me. Um, so, uh, so as a little cherry on the cake, I'd recommend having a read of that book if you haven't come across it already. I'll we'll, I'll put a I'll put a mention in the uh, in the in the in the show notes um, for anyone who wants to check it out. I'm, I'm not on commission from Mr. Hardy, although I wish I was because it's um, I think it's an excellent book. Okay, um, I think I'll uh, I think I'll do that for today. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for. Uh, for those who attended and of course for those listening on the podcast really appreciate you all ah if you wish to check out um our mentoring offer in which we do sessions like this uh, on a more sort of personal personalized scale and of course hold your hand through the ups, the ups and downs trials and tribulations and hopefully uh, lead to massive success then check out bestpropertymentoring.com for our mentoring offer <laughs>